this cannot be the long-term solution for Lansu or for Old Town or for our city. Lansu's executive director, Elizabeth Nye, is frustrated following disturbing attacks on the garden and the people working there. Somebody smeared human feces on our door. Um, and later that night, there was an ax thrown through our tea house window. All attacks have been reported to police and some to the State Department of Justice for what Nye describes as a hate crime after someone threw a glass bottle with red paint at their garden welcome sign. So you can see the, you know, sort of the red drips that uh, occurred. It felt very targeted that the bottle was thrown specifically at the name. And unfortunately, that's only the start. Aside from workers receiving racial epithets, people smoking fentanyl outside of their garden windows, someone waved a gun at employees, resulting in staff resigning. Oh, it's terrible. We elected these leaders. They need to stand up for the city of Portland. Sorry, please, yeah. There's now a temporary fence around the garden, but Nye says the drug, mental health, and homelessness epidemic on Portland streets is directly impacting the garden. They're seeing roughly 50,000 less visitors a year compared to pre-pandemic times. Right now we have put up our lanterns for the mid-autumn festival. While so. other botanic gardens across the country are seeing the complete opposite, according to Nye. We cannot afford any more inaction. We cannot afford any more fighting. Everybody needs to be on the same page because those of us who are trying to run businesses and nonprofits and live our lives cannot keep doing this. She says while the fence the city put up is necessary at this point to protect visitors, staff and the garden, Nye believes there's more work that needs to be done. We're told that until some of these bigger changes can happen, hands are tied. That's the answer. Hands are tied. Is that a good enough answer for no, you? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We need a city that we can all live in together.